July 2nd, 2015, Linwood, Washington shop, uh, Wikispeed demo video. Today the team unloaded the truck. We had a truckload of supplies from Jigsaw Renaissance that donated them to Team Wikispeed. Thanks so much, Booty Muyo and the team at Jigsaw Renaissance. Then uh, the team, uh, with Keith Wulak overseeing, hung this whiteboard, which I'll pan back and show in a moment. It's a 12-foot wide metallic uh, magnetic whiteboard donated by Michael Hasse through Jigsaw Renaissance. Then uh, we bought a set of industrial pallet rack shelving and the team cleared the outdoor area to install those shelves and then uh, created level concrete footings for those shelves and then actually installed the shelves but there's a few left so we won't call it done. Then uh, bolting together V31 suspension is in progress. Let's pan around. So here's chassis eight. Uh, Here's, hey guys, your names, it's your first day. What's your names again? Sean. Derek. Did you say Sean? Sean, yeah. Yeah, Sean and Derek. Thanks, God. Derek, wave. Hey. Okay, they're taking the rear bumper uh, off, oh, which car number is this? This car here to re-weld a broken engine mount. Um, then here is the beautiful 12 foot wide whiteboard that's been anchored, and we're gonna put even longer anchors in later, but it's been anchored uh, top and bottom, and we're probably gonna add even more anchors to make sure they're sunk into the studs, but it's a good start. And there's my daughter's play area that's collapsed at the moment. Um, do, 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 do. So that happened. We've got Ryan Gelzer, Rob Huggins, Keith Bulak, Sean and Derek, and uh, even my mom, Virginia Justice, in the Winnebago came by and helped out a little bit. Let me pan across what else has happened. Uh, here's a sewing machine for Michael Hasse and it's various uh, uh, assemblies that we got from Jigsaw Renaissance. Now it's dark out here, but let's see if there's anything visible. Oh, I don't know if you can see any of it. There's these, this brace in here. I'm gonna trace my finger with it. Is the center section of three sections of these industrial pallet shelving. It's uh, 10 feet high, 12 feet wide, 3 feet deep, uh, and it's totally not visible on the outside of the shelf. So before we get into Seattle rainy season, we're going to attempt to put an awning over it, but it should give us some hugely weighted outdoor storage uh, for uh, not critical items that are bulky. Here's some of the wire shelvings. We bought those from Jigsaw Renaissance. That happened. There's the truck that was unloaded. Um, and we loaded some double pane windows in it, five of them, huge picture windows that, I, that I'd had from a rehab project that we're going to take to the research.